going to talk about limits here. Uh, we've talked about some examples of limits from things we've done in the past in the class, but now we're going to look at the formal definition of a limit. And I call this the scary definition because this is the kind of thing you're going to see in a math textbook and it really is hard to wrap your mind around without some examples. It says here, L is the limit as X goes to C of F of X if and only if you can keep f of x arbitrarily close to L by keeping x sufficiently close enough to C but not equal to C. What does that mean? So let's say f of x equals 2 over x plus 2 and we want to find the limit when x equals negative 1. In other words, we want to get x sufficiently close to negative 1 and our limit then is going to keep f of x arbitrarily close to some number l. Um, in a, 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 probably a more natural way to say that, if moving x closer and closer to negative 1 moves f, f, f of x closer and closer to some number l, then we say the limit exists. So we're going to look at the graph on Desmos. This is the same graph we have here. And we are trying to move x closer to negative 1. So I'm going to click these points on right here. And here's where x is negative 1, right on this line right here. Now if I move this point closer to negative 1 for x, notice what's happening to y. As x moves closer to negative 1, y is moving closer to 2. Okay. Now if we move the other one, I'm going to move this away now, if x is moving closer to negative 1 here, okay, once again notice as x moves closer to negative 1, it looks like y is moving closer to 2. As a matter of fact, the point one, negative 1, 2 is on the graph. So we can keep moving closer and closer and we see that x, as x moves closer to negative 1, y appears to also be moving closer to a point. Now I want to um, turn on a couple little things here, some horizontal and vertical lines um, to illustrate something else here. Alright, so here we're saying now the green line represent X getting closer. So um, once again, here's the point um, that we're looking at when X is negative 1, Y is 2 right here, this point right here. Okay, kind of right in there, okay? So, as x gets closer to negative 1 in both directions, notice that y is also narrowing down. So, basically, as my green lines get closer and closer together, my blue lines are also getting closer and closer together, and so they're narrowing in on a particular point. So that's what it means uh, the limit as x goes to 1 is uh, to negative 1 is equal to 2. Now let's go back and look at the next one here. Um, what if we want to look at the limit as x goes to negative 2? From our previous lessons in rational functions, I think you'll recognize that there's going to be a vertical asymptote at negative 2 can see right here, there's the vertical asymptote right along here. So let's go back to the Desmos graph and see how does that correspond to a limit definition. Alright, so let's instead of making x get closer to negative 1, let's let x be closer to negative 2. So I'm going to turn these points on again. I'm going to move this one over to here. So I want to make x get closer to negative 2. So I'm going to zoom out just a little bit here. And notice what x is doing. As x is getting closer to negative 2, what's happening to y? As x is getting closer to negative 2, what's happening to y? And I think I'm going to have to zoom in a little bit more to even see what's going on with this. So I'm moving x closer to negative 2. Whoop, going way up there now. x is moving closer to negative 2 and 
fairly quickly goes right off the map. It's going to be very hard to see. So you notice my green lines are getting closer together, but look what's happening to my blue lines. They are getting farther apart as my green lines are getting closer together. So this is a case where a limit doesn't exist. Bringing my x values closer together actually make my y values get farther apart. So let's see what's actually happening here if we look and plug, plug in some points. So if we put something, we know at negative 2 it's undefined, but if I put something close to negative 2, like negative 2.000001, notice negative 2 times 10 to the 6, a very large negative number. And we see here x is getting close to negative 2 on the left hand side. We are starting to get negative numbers here. If I put like negative 1.999 something, so negative 1.999999, notice I'm getting a very large positive number. And the more decimals I add to either one of these numbers, the bigger that y gets. So this is called an infinite limit. In other words, as x goes to, gets close to negative 2, y gets infinitely big or infinitely small. So we say a limit doesn't exist because I can't make y get close to anything as x gets close to 2. y is just getting farther and farther away. Now there's one last interesting limit, so uh, that's this one down here. And this is an example where we have a line with a hole in it, okay? So we can tell there's no value when x is, is equal to 2, okay? So there has to be a hole in the graph. And so let's see how that behaves as far as a limit goes. So I'm going to turn off this one and this. Uh, and I'm going to turn on, let me kind of shut this and get it out of the way. Turn on this one and this one. Okay, and let's zoom back out here, all right, because I want to know what happens to y as x gets close to 2. So you can see where 2 is on the x-axis here, and let's see what happens to y. Okay, so if we move in closer to 2 from the bottom, as x gets closer to 2, you see y is getting closer and closer to 3. Okay, you can see it's 2.98. And when I actually get on the line there, it just disappears. Kind of a black hole, like, of a, like an effect there. If I move this one closer in, you can see as x is getting closer to 2 from this side, y is also getting really close to 3. So you can see when we get to 3, it doesn't exist, but I can get really close. When I hit 3, it just ceases to exist. That's an undefined value. But if we were to look at our line, so I'm going to turn this off, turn that off, and let's add our lines, turn those on, so once again I want to look and see what happens to the blue lines as I move the green lines closer together. So I'm moving the green lines closer and closer to 2, and notice that the blue lines are moving closer and closer to 3. So bringing the green lines together, the x's, also brings the blue lines together, the y's. So even though the point doesn't exist at 2, there is still a limit. We say the limit as x gets closer to 2 is 3, because I can get as close as I want to 3 by making x as close as I want to 2. And that's the definition of a limit. The point at which we say x is approaching doesn't have to exist. It just has to be very, very close to that. So now that we've played around a little bit with Desmos, um, the next video then will add the notes to this first page talking about what we just saw.